Well, hello, look, we've got the giant, big, heavy, blobby F450 out to try again with the Acro using the, I even forgot what I was testing on. I think it's the Speedy B stack, the ESC and um, the flight controller, basically seeing what we can do in an old machine with new equipment. Can we make it Acro? Last time, our VTX antenna, antenna fell off somewhere in the field and uh, we had to sort of abort. So I've done a couple of upgrades this time. I've installed different ESC firmware, which I will put on the screen because I can't remember what it's called. And I've put on one of the sort of recommended beta flight tunes for eight to nine inch props. These are actually 10 inch props. You're supposed to fly an eight on 4S, but I didn't seem to have enough power and I thought, ah, what the hell. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm gonna try and capture this exterior flying on my uh, Insta360. So we'll get a, an idea of what it looks like. Cause I've got no idea what this looks like in the air. I probably quite scary, but let's see. <sighs> okay. We should hopefully be recording my voice in the goggles. Let's see what happens when we try and fly this thing now. It's a bit wobbly, you can see it's about 50% to get it going. And it sort of flies, well, like a bus. <laughs> I think it's fair to say. But it is uh, at least flying this time. And as far as I know, we've still got the VTX antenna. So if we do a full power, it's not pretty. We can do a yaw spin and we can just about pull out of it. I think it's smoother than it was. We've still got issues with the shakiness. But this entire thing is quite flexible and I, I sort of think there's a bit of a wobble at the best of times when you're dealing with this sort of thing. Yeah, it's like there's a certain frequency where you just get a lot more vibration in the camera than you would previously. But hey, it's doing its job. It's, it's able to, you know, do stuff. Shall we try and do a, a split S? That involves quite a fast few manoeuvres. Whoa, full throttle a lot there. But <laughs> I, this is the power of beta flight, I feel, in um, an old quad with very old equipment is managing, <laughs> albeit shakily, to perform pretty well. I feel I feel it's only the camera mount that's doing bad. I think the rest of it's fine. It's just that whoop, lack of power <laughs> is the most of the problem. Let me just see if there's anybody in this field over here. And if not, we can try going under a few things, see how that works. Yeah, it looks clear to me. So I'm going to fly around here. And see if we can coax this thing to go under some stuff, which is difficult when the, the wobble of the screen is wobbling quite this much. I mean, this gap looks extremely freaking low now. Oh my god. Wobble, wobble, wobble. It's very wobbly. Can we fit through there? Whoa. Oof. <laughs> I didn't hear any branches, so that's okay. You've really got to get right on the throttle. It reminds me... Um, the first time I flew like the 250 size um, I was on 3S with little 50-30 props and it, it was the same sort of thing if you were up high and you did a dive unlike your normal 4S, 6S you'd start coming out like here because you have to give yourself about a second or two extra if you actually want to get out of trouble oh, I hate it at this low frequency it's like ugh, horrible I wouldn't be at all surprised if it's shaken some bits off as far as I can tell, I think the VTX antenna is in place, so that's good.
I think a power loop on this thing. I mean, I just don't think it's got enough. I don't think I'll get up high enough, it's the problem. Not so much a power loop as, like, we went up and we did a bit of a, a <laughs> loop. <laughs> a power off loop. How are we doing down here? Oh my god. This is so shaky. I was so scary trying to get under stuff. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, video. You're okay. Yeah, the battery seems to be lasting all right, actually. I mean, it is a 5,200. Um, I've got some some smaller 4Ss just to see what will happen if we put something lightweight on. Well, I don't know if it's just going to eat up the power immediately or um, it's going to be all right. That's the question. Okay, what have we got here? What? What is the... I mean, the gap. Suddenly, what looks like a big gap in, like, a 5-inch now <laughs> shrinks <laughs> to nothing. Ooh, let's go under these trees again if we can. Oh, my God. Look at look at this. Yikes. However, you know, it's doing it. It's doing its job. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, my first yaw spin was a lot better. I, I sort of went for it a little bit too much there, and I think if you try to go too much on this thing, it's gonna it's gonna have an issue. Let's put it that way. Oh, there's my shadow. Let's see if I can fly a bit close to myself and sort of capture one of these things on the Insta, because the Insta is sort of in front of me, filming wherever. So we go a little bit low level. Some things actually work well. The, um, the lot of flips on it are fine. It's the, the rolls seem all right, but just a bit more a bit more sort of uh, air going, doing weird things on the props. I don't think these props are really built for this sort of thing. I mean, that was all right, wasn't it? As long as, as, long as you get 100% on the throttle, you're fine. You know, I'm going to rank this up as a success. It's It's doing its job. It's able to acro. It's just it's a bit questionable about what you can actually see. Uh, but I'll, I'll put a smaller battery on it now, just to see what happens if we try a, a little, a little battery on this thing. Do we get a little bit more power? Uh, I'm worried about it vibrating even more because it hasn't got the the weight of the bigger battery. But let's bring it in and we'll shove a little battery on, and then we'll see what happens. Where's the landing map? There it is. Okay, so we've put a little 1554S pack on this. So let's see how it feels. I mean, not that much different, to be honest. A little bit lighter in the turns. But I don't think the battery's going to last more than like a minute. Okay, let's do 100% throttle. Look at the sag! <laughs> That's my position. Yeah, a little, a little bit better on the um, split S's, I feel, but not, not amazing. And maybe is it a little bit better on the low frequency? Well, no, it still, it still has that camera shake going on. I think <laughs> this is as best as this frame gets. I feel. I think the actual listening to it, the actual quad is is actually flying quite smoothly. I think it's just a case of the. Um, the frame wobbling because it's, it's too big and it's getting too much G's for it. I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I, 
people have flown these better, but I don't think they've flown it this fast, meta, necessarily. Back in the NASA days, you didn't exactly go all out like this. How late can we leave it? Oh no, a little bit later. Try again. Yeah, that's all the stuff, doesn't it? I don't really do acro flippity flobbity bits. This is <laughs> this is my entire repertoire, I'm afraid. Flips, rolls, your spins, that's that's about it, and then trying to fly through things, which is really hard when the camera is shaking around you're like, where the hell am I? Through there, I think. There we go. Oh, can this power loop a bit better? That's something I forgot. So if we go here. Uh, a little bit better. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna throw away my five inch quads. I don't think it's quite going to replace them, but yeah, it's doing the job, isn't it? Not too bad. Bringing it in. I'm surprised it's still in one piece, but there you go. So, we finally answered the age-old question, can you acro an F450 without dying? Yes, well, it's not a particularly pleasant experience. I'm surprised the frame is still intact. I expected to uh, be at the bin bag at this point. It was pretty horrible during the low frequency oscillation thing when you really got the wobble, but at higher uh, throttle ranges, it seemed okay. Uh, so we succeeded with this one, so I need another attempt at failing. So this was uh, a gifted from my uh, friend Neil, who was sort of getting rid of a couple of bits. And one of the other things he gave to me was his old wooden tricopter, the great big ones. And I thought, yeah, let's remove what we've got from here and let's try acroing a massive tricopter next, see what happens. So join me uh, soon when I build that and uh, we'll see if we can make some matchsticks. Catch you next one. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.